Joker is pretty much cleaned up so far. Now, he's already taken home the prize for best actor. For best actor in the Golden Globes. He's already taken the prize for best actor in the Screen Actors Guild Awards. So, award season doesn't necessarily mean much to us in the comic book world. It doesn't necessarily mean that much at all. Because mostly what we get is an Oscar nomination for visual effects or some costume design or anything like that. But no, not this time. Two times where comic book movies have been recognized for their acting, Heath Ledger won for the Joker. It's, it's gone. Joaquin Phoenix is winning right now for the Joker. <laughs> With a good script. That's maybe uneasy on the eyes. It's a little bit truth telling to people. And then having an actor that can deliver the role in such a way that it just basically shapes you to your core and you have no choice but to give in and give up gold. Because that seems to be what's happening here on a grand scale. And all of a sudden, at the end of this, at the end of award season, you're gonna look at comic book movies and be like, okay, if this one did so well, by having the captivating performance like he had in this movie, what do we what do we have to do to prove that we can just push the same type of envelope? What it did was put a mirror up to society and basically showed you what someone suffering from mental illness or maybe some type of depression, what they go through internally on a daily basis. The, those type of stories may only seem to happen on Earth scale. So say if like, you're looking at Iron Man, for instance, you're looking at a philanthropist billionaire who's also an alcoholic and a womanizer. So if you took that and just molded that and put that in a box and delivered it, yeah, Iron Man has all these great action sequences. But the thing is, him as a man could have been done so much better. But now with a movie like this, taking a character like the Joker, who's a villain for fucking crying out loud, and making him the focal point to the point where it's easy to give this guy awards. At the end of the day, you don't need a shitload of explosives. You don't need a ton of CGI. You don't need a green screen. I need a blue screen, but you don't need a green screen, okay? You don't need a ton, tons of guys walking around with puppet masks and, and puppeteers walking around with shit strapped to their back. I mean, no, Andy Serkis is probably one of the best performance artists in the, in the world. If you're putting acting in, and the heart into the script, you don't need none of that shit. It is what it is. Grandmaster Facts, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to us on the Party Nerds YouTube page. Feel free to hit me up, Grandmaster Facts, on IG and Twitter. Party Nerds, go. Jump up in the air. Jump up, don't be scared. Jump up, don't be scared. And your cares will soar away.